What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and welcome to Mudrunner for a test that I have been uh, I've been very excited about as of recently. So, I have turned damage back on and that is very important to this test because this is going to be a vehicle stress test. And when I say vehicle stress test, we're going to put each of these three trucks through some really grueling tests to see which one comes out on top and which one comes out alive. Now, this truck has 5,000 allowable damage points. This truck has 1,200 allowable damage points. And this truck also has 1,200 allowable damage points. So we're going to be starting with the Cybertruck. And we're going to be going through a variety of similar obstacles. Now, our very first one is going to be this one right here. And also, just to prove that we have damage on. There you go. So... Just to, just to prove that we have damage on, I've yeeted it into a tree for y'all so you guys can fully see that, yes, we do, in fact, have damage enabled, and we have not turned it off. So, with that being said, we have this beautiful little obstacle right here that allows us to cause lots of suspension damage. So, we're going to run each truck across these in high to see what happens. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Well, it's already more than half damaged. Let's run it back the other way and see what happens that time. Oh, yep. Completely destroyed. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the next. Oh, God. Are you serious? Bruh. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to use the SEMA build ram to pull the Cybertruck into the garage. Because the Cybertruck is so badly damaged that it just doesn't run. There we go. Alright, release. And... Oh, God! Stop it! Stop it! Was trying to, like... It was trying to activate the garage on the ram, and I was like, are you serious? Bro, are you serious? Like, it's not what we're here for, but okay! Let's get this thing fully lifted up. Get those uh, get those airbags fully inflated. All right, now it's time for another suspension stress test. Oh, God. Wow, one run, and it's like three quarters damaged. One run, and it's three quarters damaged. I definitely don't think it's going to make it back. That's for sure. Oh, 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 come on! Oh, yep, there it goes. No! No, it's... Okay, yeah, it's completely done. It is completely done, but you know what we could do now? We could use the Cybertruck to pull that guy back in because he's going to need it. Okay, and release. Now, we also have the LS Cat Eye Mud Truck. And don't worry, that's not the only obstacle we're going to use. We have lots of other obstacles here to play with. So let's go ahead and get this guy started up and back him up so that he is in line and ready for this test. All right, and three, two, one, go! Sustained about 800 damage points from that, which is pretty similar to what the Cybertruck sustained. Now, going back the other way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 1,753. So, again, it would have damaged out like the other two had it had it only, you know, had, uh, had 1,200 damage points available to it. But now we have an even greater challenge. The damage system hates rocks. Can this thing make it to the top? Oop! Come on! Oh, it's leaking oil! Come on! It's leaking a lot of oil! No! It got stuck! Oh, God! It got too, it, it got like really badly damaged and then s got stuck. Uh, 
There we go! It still made it! I mean, it still made it. We got it back into high, but it still made it. And now, for Le Grand Finish. Yeet! Oh, yep. That's done. Oh, that's... No, it's not! It still starts! Oh my god, it still starts! Oh, yep, not anymore! Whoa! Oh my god! Yeah, so she definitely doesn't start anymore. Uh, it's definitely dead. Very. Uh, but it's repaired now, so that's a good thing. Now, I do want to see how long the dodge lasts on one of these other very, very entertaining obstacles, because this thing is a little bit different from the other two because it's a smaller tire vehicle. It's not like, you know, some crazy mega mud truck. I mean, it's it's a crazy build. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a crazy SEMA build, but it's not in the same sort of, it. Uh, I guess, it's not built in the same vein that the other trucks are. So, with that being said, let's see how it does over some basic bumps. Basic bumps and light mud. It's not bad. It does lean to the right sometimes, though. Or, well, to the left, actually. Oh, no! Are you serious? Bruh. Now, for you, no time has passed. But for me, it's been a couple of hours. And the reason why it's been a couple of hours is because of the simple fact that when Steam crashes... Uh, you can't use any of your mods, and, uh, well, Steam crashed, and, uh, such is life sometimes. But, with that being said, though, we have a couple more stress tests to attempt, and one of the stress tests that I personally wanted to attempt was to see how far this truck could make it in terms of this minefield of rocks. I know we already threw the Chevy at it, but... This thing probably won't even make it half as far as the Chevy before it's, like, literally dead. Whoa, come on! It's making it further than I thought it was going to! That's, like, halfway! Come on, Big Dodge! Come on! You're just now in the red. Just now in the red. Come on! Yo, it might make it, dude! It might make it. I'm gonna be very impressed if it makes it, but it might make it. Holy crap, it made it. Well, it's only got smashed into a freaking tree, which is hilarious. But yeah, no, it actually did pretty much make it. And I'm really surprised that it actually made it. So I'm gonna see if... God, I want to be able to damage out the cat eye mud truck in like one go. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that other than like launching it at, oh, I know I'm gonna do that actually. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm gonna do it. Yeet it. Oh. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Let's repair this real quick. It's hard to actually damage out something this tough in one go. It really is. Well, that didn't really work either. Come on! There's gotta be a way to damage out this thing all the way in one shot, and I, I just haven't found it yet. Bet you I could do it with the mega ramp. There we go! Come on! Boom! Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, the collision axles didn't like that! Oh, they didn't like that very much at all! Oh, I've broken it! I've broken the rear axle! Oh, I didn't necessarily kill the truck, but I definitely broke it! All right, I'm leaving you right there, and then now I'm getting in the Cybertruck because I want to see if I can land in close enough proximity to that truck to cause, like, a chain reaction that completely damages out both of them. It's a bit of a ridiculous order, but... Oh, God! Oh, God! 
Oh, I don't think I'm gonna land near it. Nope, I'm not. I'm not. I, um. Hi. Ow. Oh. Uh. Ah. Um. Well, that's a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Recover, please. God, it's knocking, but there's no engine. I love that. That's hilarious. It's like, it's knocking, but there's no engine. It's just an electric motor. And so the electric motor is like, ah, I don't know what to do. Oh, you stupid thing. Back, back down. Back, back down. Don't, don't make me come over there and literally, like, pick the thing up and put it where I need it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that was incorrect. That was very incorrect. Although, it did end up, like, it did end up where we sort of wanted it. Well, not really actually that close, but... It's crazy how this thing will bend at the, like, the axle will bend at the hubs. It's so weird. All right, I'm gonna go about it, uh... The more direct way. Yeet it! Oh my god! Okay! It still works, technically. I just don't know how we're gonna get it out of this. I mean, it's just... They're both... Oh god. They're both just, like, stuck there. Oh! Well, actually... Actually... Oh, boy. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Oh, you're looking for damage? Boy, you're about to get some... That's, that's about to be a lot of damage. You boys like damage? Actually, that was a lot less damage than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, my God. That was, like, a hell of a lot less damage than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna actually end up with, like, a Phil Swift situation, a that's a lot of damage situation, but, uh, not quite. I'm still not happy with where the- oh my god. I'm still not happy with where the, uh, the Cybertruck was able to get to. So, I'm gonna run it up the ramp one more time. I just wanna make it land on the cat eye, dude. Like, that's- that's all I wanna make it do. I haven't really had much luck. Ah! That's just great. Oh, God. The the tree, like, refused it. The tree was like, bleh, bleh, nope. All right, cyber boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, I launched the wrong way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We're going in the water. Oh. Well, you want to talk about damaging it out in one go. There you go. Uh, oh, God. Look at that axle. Look at that axle. That is... That is bad. Oh, my God. That is bad. That is really, really, really bad. Oh, my God. Dude, we broke it. You want to talk about breaking trucks? We broke it. Good lord. Look at that! Oh my god, look at that! We broke it. Like, we very much so broke it. Holy moly, that's bad. Okay, I'm bringing this thing back to the garage, like, one more time. Because I want to launch it off of the ramp one last time. Like, that's, that's all I want to do. One last time, I'm taking this thing off the jump. And hopefully... Ending with a similar situation as the Cybertruck. Oh, go right! Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! It's not fully damaged out yet, but my god, is it close enough. Well, I know that was a little bit of a different video than I normally do. Like, I normally don't have damage on. I normally don't, like, beat these trucks up in that way. But, uh, I, it was definitely some eye-opening research, and if you guys enjoyed that eye-opening research, then, uh, let me know by hitting the like button and letting me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, as well as subscribing and turning that notification bell on, and I will see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.